Hi everyone, today we are going to look some level 2 chemistry. This is the 2019 um, 2.6 chemical reactivity NVA examination and we are going to look at question 1 today. Um, question 1 focuses on rate reaction for this particular exam paper and um, if you want more detailed rate reaction explanations I strongly recommend you to find my rate reaction video that I've done previously um, because that's far more um, thoroughly explained than this particular um, video because I'm just going to go through this particular exam paper and just um, work through this particular set of questions. Okay, so question one. Um, so you got given the same volume, same concentration of HCl added to each test tubes and you added uh, metals. So the first one you have HCl and zinc, you have slow rate of bubbles. That means it reacted but not very quickly. You added HCl and zinc, no bubbles, that, so that means there was no reaction. You added HCl and zinc, which would react, then if you add copper, that speed up the rate of reaction. So straight away, if you have this really odd thing that's in your um, mixture, um, and that significantly increases the rate of reaction, that means whatever this strange thing is, is a catalyst, and what does a catalyst do? It lowers the activation energy. So if I draw you a diagram like this, let's say what is the activation energy? This is the activation energy from the this little bump. And what does a catalyst do? A catalyst will provide. So this is a new activation energy. So a catalyst will provide an alternative pathway with lower activation energy requirement. Therefore, more particles can collide with sufficient amount of energy to overcome the lowered activation energy barrier. Therefore, you will have more effective collusion per unit time or you have a higher frequency of effective collusion. Okay, so if you want to have a quick look at the answers, there it is. So just exactly what I kind of mentioned just now, alternative pathway, lower activation energy, more reactant particles, collide with sufficient amount of energy, increasing the frequency of effect occlusion, therefore increasing the rate of reaction. Okay, very straightforward. Um, nothing really new here. All right, let's have a look at this. This is a different, uh, different question, different investigation. Um, the, straight away, I can see the different criteria here. One is at 40 degrees, one is at 20 degrees. I'm not going to bother reading the rest because I've already done this before. Um, 40 degrees, 20 degrees, which one's 40, which one's at 20. Um, the one, so line B must be 40 degrees and line A must be 20 degrees. Why is that? Because at a higher temperature, the rates of reaction is faster and that would result in a higher rates of re um, higher rates of reaction. That means more effective pollution period in time. Then you have a steeper graph. Okay. Explain why the two lines still finish at the same position because you still have the same. If you look at the reactions, all the reactions have the same amount of ingredients. Okay. So it's kind of like, again, I like using cooking as an example. If you have the same amount of ingredients um, being cooked, if you put one thing. If you put them in the oven, one at one at 100, 180 degrees, one at 220 degrees, you don't magically cook more stuff. You still have the, it's the same amount of food, okay? So because you have the same amount of ingredients to begin with. Um, so really quick to finish at the same position because they producing two, um, therefore producing the same amount of products because they have the same amount of reactants, and um, the only difference is the rate of reaction. Okay, so very straightforward there. Now. Let's elaborate on the effect of increasing temperature on the rate of reaction. So I kind of like I explained in the rate of reaction video, it is always to do um, when they ask you about rate of reaction, it's at year 12, because this is exactly the same sort of concept from year 11. To make it a little bit more difficult, they always pick catalyst and temperature, surface area and concentration are a little bit too easy at year 12. I mean, it was already too easy at year 11. So they don't really ask for it at year 12, okay? so. Just remember, I'll go through this chart again. When you increase temperature, when you increase temperature, that means you, you have more. The particles have more kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Okay, so when they have more kinetic energy, they will move around faster. So I'm talking about the reactant particles. When they move faster, they're more likely going to bump into each other, more likely to collide. And when they're more likely to collide, therefore you have increased 
increased frequency of collision okay because they're more likely to collide now the other thing because they have more kinetic energy combine these two together because they're colliding more and because they're colliding with more energy now so therefore more proportion a higher proportion more proportion a higher proportion higher proportion of collisions will be effective um, due to higher energy due to high energy you know, I'll just extend, I, I mean, I kind of round space. So, high proportion of the solution will be effective due to high energy. You know, more, um, more likely, more collisions going to have, more collisions will collide with sufficient amount of energy, with enough energy, to, enough energy to overcome activation energy. To overcome EA okay so what does that mean that means you have higher frequency I'm just gonna run out of space again higher frequency higher frequency of oops it's an ugly C and Y higher frequency of success occlusion Note, I didn't say any per unit times thing, uh, any per unit times, um, because frequency replaces that. Okay, so that means increased rate of action. Very straightforward. So here's the answers. So increased temperature, if you want a more paragraph answer, so what it means, increase in the rate of action because they have more kinetic energy. They move, that means they move faster. Um, um, come back, they move faster. What aren't you doing it? Okay, the more faster, increase in number of collision per unit time, increase the frequency of collision because a higher percentage will collide with because they have more energy, you know, essentially what I wrote. Um, but that's the gist of it. Okay, so um, race reaction always very, very predictable. Um, it's probably the easiest eight points you'll get in the entire year 12 examination of chemistry because this is what you learned in year 11 science. Okay, so hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, but um, if you have problems with rates of action, strongly recommend you to look for my other video. Okay, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.